worried about the scheduling. And they were, and I remember them saying like, oh, we think that, that the first that fight with you and Bullseye, with DD and Bullseye, I think that, you know, we're gonna have to try and do most of it with the stun doubles and get you guys in. They you just do a bit. And me and Wuz were like, uh-uh. <laughs> no way. You fight the time, because we're doing <laughs> And, and that entire relationship between Daredevil and Wolves and Fisk was so beautifully done. And it was almost like an orchestra in, in season three. It was like this grand crescendo uh, that all of us have kind of been waiting for forever. Like, we wanted to see this, particularly whether you're a comic book fan or you just came into the show. So, well done. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Um, that was, that was a fun fight as well, having the three of us in that room, in the penthouse in the end. It was pretty cool. Oh, it was, yeah, it was great. Um, so you already kind of talked about it, at least one of them. Were there any twists in season three that caught you by surprise? Um... Uh, I like the... Not, t not really twists. You know, I like the. I, I, I don't like to find out what's going to happen, so I find out as I read it. And so when I read episode six, five, episode five, no, episode nine, when we have the fight in the church, and then the when it's you know the iconic image reversed of, instead of Daredevil holding Karen Page underneath the underneath the crucifix, it was the other way around. I just think that stuff's awesome, man. I love that. I love that was, that was that was exciting to me when I read that. I was like, that's so cool. Um, I, I was like a little bit like, what are we gonna do? What's gonna happen with Wilson Fitz? Yeah. You know? Oh, Wilson. Yeah. So he's in prison. Hopeless romantic. We'll see. In prison. 